Pisces, this is your reading for May 2017, both general and love. And I just wanted to let you know, I finally opened up my shop so you can go to my website, moonwatertarot.com. And I do, I'm starting off with prints right now, but I'm going to be adding some original art and some other things that I'm very excited about. So uh, it's a process. But anyway, so I wanted to let you know about that. So let me focus here. Aries, Aries, the most important messages, Aries, Aries. May 15th through the 31st, 2017. Let's take a look. I have the Page of Swords. Oh, wow. We got the Tower. The Queen of Pentacles. My goodness. The Five of Swords. Oh, wow. And the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, well, I am going to go with what is here. So let me go ahead and uh, move the tripod and we'll get started. Okay. Thank you. All right, so Aries, um, there's a lot of, quite a few messages here. Uh, obviously, I want to point out the tower as our major arcana. And the other thing is obviously we have a court card here. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra may be of great importance for you. Now, we also have the Queen of Pentacles, which is an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. And this can be male or female. Um, so I want to say that. One of the things that I am picking up is I feel that somebody is having like really bad headaches or migraines. And... I think it has to do with the change in barometric pressure for somebody. It's their environment or uh, I feel like the weather somehow influences these headaches. The other thing that I'm getting is somebody is really having a lot of neck pain and I feel like it's also possibly the back or lower back. So you have to be very careful, especially if you're sitting for a long time. Uh, I feel like there's a need for you to get up and move or to, what's that? I think it's erg ergonomically correct, you know, especially if you're sitting at the computer all day, you got to be careful about hunching over. There's a need for you to stretch or to sit more in an upright position because I really feel like if this continues, you may end up having some surgery. Uh, there's a disc that is possibly out of alignment or bulging, but you'll know who this is. I would not be uh, shocked if you're having some pains even down your arms. But anytime you're not feeling well, I always say go seek, you know, doctor, go get professional medical help and make sure you find out what this is. 
The other thing is I feel like there is news about a pregnancy. Oh, and I just heard acupuncture may be helpful. So somebody's either going to a chiropractor or acupuncture. Now, oh, okay, I just heard this too. This I'm uh, this happened for another sign. I think it may, it may have been Sagittarius, but I'm hearing that this surgery may have already taken place. And so you are healing. You're going through the healing process, but it's still kind of a battle. I do feel that some of you may even be on bed rest because of this surgery. Um, but I, I get the feeling like eventually this pain, especially if you had the surgery, uh, will go away. But some of you may be, may be doing acupuncture or physical therapy or getting, uh, like massages or something like that, or ultrasound, something like that going on. Now, speaking of ultrasound, I do feel that somebody is going to find out that they're pregnant. And if it's not you, could be in the workplace that you hear of some pregnancy or from a family member or a friend or a neighbor or something like that. There's news about that. But I also feel that somebody is fighting about this pregnancy, like saying, this is not my child. And I think that's why there's conflict, uh, a lot of conflict here. Could be an air sign versus an earth sign. But I'm also getting very much Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But there's something about, yeah, I, I feel something with the, uh, I, I don't know, I'm being led back to the head and headaches or the crown chakra. Now, this also could be that somebody is very much uh, into the spiritual realm and enlightenment, and there could be feel like maybe somebody's third eye is in the process of being opened, but then you uh, get scared or there's, you know, messages that um, possibly then you shut down again is, is what I'm also getting. The other thing is I do feel that some of you may have some situation going on with the home the physical home where there's possibly storms. Now, maybe this is the aftermath and you're dealing with the aftermath in May is what I'm hearing. So there's been some ending, some loss, and there may be issues in terms of um, uh, fighting like with, with money. See, there's, uh, or the insurance company is what I'm getting. So, but also if you are in an area where there's uh, weather fluctuates, because, you know, I feel there's a big fluctuation here that it's important, you know, make sure you've got your insurance covered, you know, for your home or for, you know, flood insurance or whatever that I feel is going to be important for somebody. Now, the other thing that I'm getting also, I feel that there is an ending in terms of love, in terms of a relationship. Now, this could be all of a sudden, you know, this can happen. This can be, every card has its positive and its negative. This can be also has different meanings than just upheaval or a sudden change or disaster or something like that. This to me can very much be like a reawakening or something is revealed. And I feel like the truth about a situation for some of you is going to get revealed and or 
the truth is discovered. So maybe this is getting back to a paternity test and you find out the truth about, um, you know, who the, 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 the child belongs to, but I'm, I definitely get that this can be somebody's temper. And so this could be someone's temper within the home, definitely within business or the workplace. There may be a boss where there's a lot of volatility. It could also be that you're involved in a business with three partners. There's three people here. You may be one of them. Could be that somebody is saying they want out of this company or this business. Um, or that their position is ending. Um, so, and you're kind of left to pick up the pieces or, uh, but it could also be that you may want this person out. But I want to get back to love because I do feel that there is a strong possibility of a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that may be coming in or already is in your life. And maybe, okay, yeah, that's how it's coming across because I feel that what this commotion is, is that you most likely ended a relationship. Now, it could be that somebody has ended a relationship with you. Or maybe there was, you know, hope in a job opportunity. It Maybe there was just too much competition and what you thought was going to come to fruition. There's there Maybe there's not enough resources or lack of money to give you what you want. And so the job is terminated or it's ended. But I do feel in terms of love that or... Um, I feel like there is possibility somebody from your past that is definitely having a hard time letting you go and they are creating some kind of turmoil and havoc or, you know, wanting to get back at you because possibly you ended the relationship. And they just are trying to make things difficult for you. There's jealousy or maybe rage or anger. I also feel like somebody is possibly like watching somebody. Like they're, they're just, you know, wanting to see what they're up to, what you're up to. I don't feel like it's... You know, they ended it with you and you're feeling like this. It could be that way, but it's coming across more the other way around where I feel like there's something, you know, with the 10 ending, there's a new beginning coming in. And I feel like, I feel like there's new love coming in for some of you. For some of you, this may be a, a very volatile relationship that you are in and, and maybe you're going to end it by the end of May because you're, you're tired of, you know, um, somebody being jealous or controlling or wanting to know where you're at every minute, what you're doing. It's taking a toll. And... But I feel that some of you or somebody is, there's the possibility of somebody finding out, it could be this past love, it could be an air sign, um, but, you know, it doesn't have to be an air sign or an earth sign, but um, where they find out that you've moved on or that you're engaged or that you're having a child you know who the child is. You don't need a paternity test, but they're jealous that you have moved on and have moved on possibly quickly. And so they're trying to make things disruptive. And if it's marriage and you're choosing to divorce or separate, they may be coming after you for money. Maybe you were the breadwinner 
and they may be trying to get the house and possibly what, you know, your belongings are. So, yeah, but I, I feel though that for you, it's more of you moving away from this heavier situation. And, you know, it could also be that somebody uh, gets angry and just walks off the job is what I'm hearing. They're just fed up with somebody and they just walk off the job. They just leave. And, and if you own a business and they could leave you hanging, it could also be that you walk out, out of a job, but, uh, but I really feel that it's, it's more as, uh, something is coming to an end, but I feel like there's hope. There's hope in, in, in the situation. If it's this volatile, as I'm seeing where it's up and down, up and down, you know, maybe one day they're angry, another day they're very, uh, affectionate and then they get angry again. It, it's, it's like a roller coaster. And I feel like it would be probably most beneficial. And if there are children involved, cause the page can represent a child, um, that, uh, for it to be this volatile as it's coming across here is not helpful. It's not a, it's not a safe or positive environment. It's, um, it's like someone's playing mind games and, uh, it's just, you know, very stressful. So this is a very important message. It may apply to one person, but I feel like it's important for uh, it to be heard. And I do feel it's always darkest before the dawn. And I'm very much focused on this yellow here where something is going to come to fruition. But if there is somebody that's this volatile, I certainly wouldn't want to be around this person if it's you know, looking like this. And so if it's an ex and they want to meet up with you, you know, obviously that's your choice, but um, depending on how they've treated you, but I, I would definitely either not want to meet up with them or, um, you know, make sure that you're in a very safe environment, people around you and all that, because I feel like this person can has a temper can blow up any minute um this is how it's coming across and um but i i want to focus on on the positive as much as possible that i feel like this is coming to an end this suffering or pain and um and there's healing. When I look at this, oftentimes I feel like there's a healing process. This could be, once again, male or female. They don't necessarily have to be an earth sign, but, you know, this can, this can even be you. But I feel like it's time for you to nurture yourself. And there may be somebody around you that is very nurturing and also can help you and you know, look out for your best interest and what's best for you. So these are just some messages that I'm getting. Uh, remember, this may not apply to you at all when reading for thousands of people. So watch your moon and or rising sign. And if you would like a private reading with me, you can um, go to my website once again. Uh, I do offer the questions, the video questions, anywhere from one to four. And don't forget to check out my shop either. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching and take care. I will talk to you soon, Aries. All right. Bye.